Hey, seems like Mexico is coming for us. You know what? I didn't want to say anything, but they are definitely cracking down on foreigners and perpetual tourists. <laughs> I know, perpetual tourists. That's us. <laughs> We're the problem. We are the problem. But you know what? I've been checking out alternatives uh, for us to look at that are on par for after Mexico. Word? Mm -hmm. They got beaches? Some of them. They got good food? Well, it's not Mexican food, but yes, yeah, good food. Maestro, drum roll please. Are they affordable? Yes, they are affordable. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Oh baby, sounds like we need to have us a conversation. Mm -hmm. We definitely should. You ready to talk about something good? Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is April. And my name is Rondell. And today we are talking about countries that give a generous tourist permit Whew. when you visit. In light of current events with these crazy caravans mobbing the US border, other caravans mobbing borders in Europe, we thought it'd be pertinent to talk about some different places that you can go with again that generous tourist permit. Now Mexico is usually always on this list, mm -hmm. but today we're considering <laughs> a few alternatives because of how things are going. This list is prioritized by longest length of stay and then cost of living. All right, you guys, we're gonna start our journey all the way over in Europa. Mm-hmm, right at the intersection of Europe and Asia mm -hmm. is a beautiful country called Georgia. Georgia is old in story, you guys. Some little facts about Georgia. It is known as the birthplace of... Wine, guys. More importantly to us, Upon arrival, you can get 365 days. Mm -hmm. As a US citizen, you can stay in Georgia for up to one year visa free. You don't hear me though. 365 <laughs> days. What can you do with those 365 days, my dear? You can work, you can live, you can even study in Georgia without a visa, without a residence permit for up to a year. Legally study, legally go to the university, legally get a job. Georgia is one of these countries that you can move to and enjoy a full life in. We don't recommend you go there to get a job. Hey, don't move to Georgia. Uh, this is not a rich country by any stretch of the imagination. You definitely need to be able to support yourself. Mm -hmm. But again, 365 days upon arrival to a modern country, a modern city in Tbilisi. Am I saying that right? Tbilisi? Mm -hmm. Tbilisi. And come on, man. Really good food, really good wine. They're known to be friendly to foreigners and they welcome tourists. So, All right. what you gonna um, do? Hey, Georgia also has lots of monasteries and churches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Their yeah. food scene seems pretty impressive too. They seem heavy on the meat, but also have lots of vegetarian dish choices too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very interesting. Very story country, but what I find attractive about the countries we're speaking of in Europe are their location. This again is on the cusp between Asia and Europe, and it's right next to Turkey and many, 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 many other countries to visit Greece and everything else. So another thing to mention is that the cost of living here mm. is very affordable. For one person living in Georgia could cost about $735. That roughly. is sexy. These are rough estimates, guys. This is not a cost of living video. These numbers are coming from Expatistan and they are ballpark figures, but they're really good ballpark figures. So really doable as a homestead to jet off to travel throughout Europe and visit some different places. All right, that's Georgia. 365 days. Next is the beautiful country of Albania. Albania. Now look, I'm gonna need you guys to put your stereotypes away. Uh, this is not one of those little gangster flicks with people with, with slick, oily hair and leather jackets. Mm. Uh, that's the old Albania. I ain't gonna tell you that it didn't exist. Um, this place is much more than its reputation. Uh, this place is beautiful, mm -hmm. storied, cultured, and also offering 365 days upon arrival. For US citizens, and probably for a few other countries as well. Albania has an array of landscapes. There mm -hmm. are mountains there, villages, beaches, just a lot to get into, a lot of things to explore. I'll tell you what else too. They remind me of Kuala Lumpur in regards to their, uh, their soup of religions there. The dividing line of religion is not present in Albania. As I understand it, you ask an Albanian their religion, they tell you it doesn't matter. That's beautiful. They have about 18,000 coffee shops. Come on now. They have the most coffee shops per capita than any other place in the world. Now, if you know anything about Europe, you know they are serious about their croissants 
and about their coffee shops, all right? And this place has more coffee shops per capita than any other place. That's kind of a big deal. And it's literally like one coffee shop for every 169 people. So some other facts about Albania. The Albanian people are super friendly and courteous to foreigners. In Albania and in Georgia, English is a taught language. So the language barrier is not really there. Mm. So that's kind of a big deal for people like us who want to go enjoy a culture and understand that culture. Uh, it will be easy to make friends and relate to people in these countries. They are an honorable people, they are friendly people, and again, very courteous and welcoming to foreigners. Kind of curious how they gonna accept uh, black folk because I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot of black folk out there, but I don't mind being the first at all. Albania, 365 days upon arrival. All right, you guys, we are flying in from Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. Where we landed, sweetheart? We're landing in Latin America to mm -hmm. discuss a few countries over here that while their tourist permits might not be as generous as where we just came from, right. they're still pretty great. Pretty awesome. So the first country we're gonna talk about gives you 183 days upon arrival. Uh, and they do this for quite a few countries. I misstated in the previous video that the United States only gets 90 days. Uh-uh, we get 183 days upon arrival. This beautiful country is called... Peru. Peru. Mm -hmm. Peru is special to us uh, on our quest to see 100 countries and find a place to call home because there are a multitude of places to explore in this country. Yes, of course we want to hit up Machu Picchu, mm -hmm. of course we want to hit up Rainbow Mountains, but this country is full of archaeological sites. I want to see Cusco. I want to go see this city that's in the middle of the desert. I mean, there's just a lot to explore there and we can't wait to check it out. And we'll be afforded the luxury of time True. as we explore these places. But also the luxury of affordability. Talk to me, baby. Because the cost of living is coming in at what? $840. Mm -hmm. city center in the capital so that means if you move to other cities throughout the country you can save a lot more money but $840 average apartment downtown city center coming in about $520 what furnished what I mean we need a place to go to after Mexico right so. right and the people are friendly and they are very warm and affectionate heart towards uh, tourists so <laughs> this is a place that's high on our list and we will be going to check out uh, we also understand that that a lot of Tyrese called this place home and we're gonna go find out why. Next up on our list is a country where the cost of living is on the higher end, at least for yeah, us. It's coming in at like $1,700 per month, but we went there, we freaking loved being there. We're only there for a few days, but we really, really liked it. We are in Panama, Panama City, you guys. Um, it's freaking awesome. I, the, the people are vibrant. We just kind of hung out and ate and went to a couple of cultural gatherings, shall we say, I guess. And it was nice, man. The people are out playing football, basketball. It's a vibrant city. It's a, a very uh, cultured city. Everybody's out enjoying being outdoors. But what I really liked, honestly, my wife sang to me uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> on the balcony of this sky ride. We were a little <laughs> sky <crazy. rise. laughs> But the reason we bring Panama to you guys is because they allow visitors up to 180 days. 180 days upon arrival. That means you don't have to fill out paperwork. You don't have to go through the hoot rah and they're open right now as well. But it's also strictly enforced, so yeah. don't play around with Panama either. Little tips to know about Panama. Their uh, currency is the USD, so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that conversion rate. Uh, but again, things cost in Panama. You know, the cost of living is $1,700. For comparison, our cost of living here in Mexico is averaged in at around $1,100, $1,200. Mm -hmm. um, but that city center Panama, what people sleep on in Panama is it's laced with gorgeous beaches. It's laced with the mountains. Mm -hmm. It has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful landscapes to explore outside of the city. Uh, what language do they speak in Panama? Spanish. It is Latin America. Spanish is the uh, language of choice there. And again, it's a beautiful, vibrant city, man. We got, we sat in our apartment watching the whales play in the bay. That's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. That was freaking awesome. Our time in Panama was memorable. And again, lots of retirees call this place home because they have an awesome medical system that is accessible and affordable way more affordable than the states. Hey, and to give a shout out to some people who've made some great content about the area, mm -hmm. Passport Heavy, oh, real talk. and Drew real talk. Yeah, get at those guys. Uh, we'll put the links up here. Uh, really worthwhile videos to watch and you can get a, a better feel and vibe for the area. Panama City. Panama. If it's not on your list, check it out. 
Rounding out our list is a country that we just touched on in a previous video, but now it is super relevant. Uh, this country's name is... Ecuador. Ecuador, named after the equator, is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. And it's on our list because you get 90 days upon arrival, but you can extend that 90 days for another 90 days inside of the country. That is true. So 90 plus 90, you guys can do the math. You know how long you can spend in this country, mm -hmm. but they strictly enforce these tourist policies as well. Yeah. So you know the drill. Make sure you're legit while you're in Ecuador. So when you go to extend your 90 days, make sure you extend that 90 days well before your 90 days is up. You have mm -hmm. to be a responsible tourist <laughs> in Ecuador. But I tell you what, some little tidbits about uh, living in Ecuador. You can apply for a business visa just showing that you are making $400 a month. That is the easiest visa to get that I know of. You show your bank statements just showing that you got $400 coming to your account every month and you can live there. It's a choice place of retirement because they have an interlaced medical system, meaning you can move throughout the country and still access their medical facilities. Mm -hmm. So Ecuador is known for many things, one of which being the home of the Galapagos Islands. Mm -hmm. And another cool thing is that Ecuador has two of like the first 12 ever designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I didn't know that, baby. Thank you. That's awesome, you guys. Another major component is the cost of living. They're coming in at a whopping $913 a month oh, to live on the beach with beachfront property. Mm -hmm. Or live in the city. Or live in the city. I mean, look, you guys, it's affordable, it's beautiful, and it's easy. Mm -hmm. The visa process is easy for if you want to get that uh, business visa. More importantly, you get 90 days upon arrival and another 90 days you can add on while you're inside of the country. That's nice. My people, my beautiful travelers out there, again, we want to let you know that you are not alone. And we wanted to make this video just to let you know that there are lots and lots of options out there. Mm -hmm. It's a big, beautiful, welcoming world for you. Um, we wanted to give an honorable mention to a few places as well. Mm -hmm. Uruguay, for one, mm -hmm. is a place that definitely could have made this list. You get 90 days entering as a tourist mm -hmm. and you can extend that within the country for an mm -hmm. additional three months. And they do not mind border runs. Uh, they tell you if you go touch base outside of the country and come back, you can reset that 90 days. Now, a little bit about Uruguay. Um, it is a slower paced kind of country. Mm -hmm. I think their total population is about 4 million of the entire country and more than half of that population is located in their capital city. It's a bit of an overshadowed country, but definitely one that we're going to put on our <laughs> yeah, list to yeah, we're gonna check out. visit because cost of living is about 1200. Mm -hmm. Cost of living is 1200, uh, but it's right between, what is it? Uh, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil to the and north, Argentina, Argentina <laughs> to the west. They have gorgeous beaches. Uh, they have a lot of, I guess what you would call virgin beaches, like because nobody goes really to visit there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we can't go and kind of check those, check it out to show you guys. And it's on our list as one of the 100 countries that we want to visit before we find a place to call home. So what are some other honorable mentions? Uh, we want to talk about Southeast Asia, you guys. Uh, Southeast Asia, while those 11 countries offer pretty much 90 days when you get there, uh, some places offer 60 days, some places offer 30 days, but you can extend while you're in the country through various paperwork. They're all kind of come together, so you can make a route through Southeast Asia doing 90 days here, 90 days there. That's why a lot of people like to go backpacking yeah. in Southeast Asia too. It's very, very affordable. Super duper affordable. Your dollar affordable. stretches tremendously mm -hmm. and you can bounce around to different countries in the area. Easily. Some people do it for a lifetime. So, And again, like in those countries that you're bouncing around in, medical uh, facilities are affordable like paying out-of-pocket medical uh, is not far-fetched mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually affordable and again the, the people are warm and friendly so worthwhile to mention yes so that's what we have for you guys today we're gonna be setting foot in some of these countries ourselves mm -hmm. and getting a more in-depth experience that we can share with you guys so we're asking you guys to stay with us to come along we're trying to hit uh, 100 countries we already got about 20 under our belts we got about 80 more countries to hit before we label a few to call our home. Mm -hmm. So enjoy the ride, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for joining us for this episode. Um, this was kind of fun, and I hope you got something from it. All right, guys, I'm April. My name is Rondell. And we'll see you next time. I'll back, y'all. Peace and love.